here are the directions for Silent E with a suffix. All last week, we worked on reading silent E words with a suffix. We focused on the three suffixes ing, ing, ed, ed, and s, s, right? Included in this are two anchor charts for you. You've seen these a bunch before. The reading strategies one, because we are going to practice reading in this assignment. So just a quick review on the strategies you could use if you need to. And then an anchor chart about silent E to help you remember that the silent E makes the vowel say its name. In other words, the silent E makes the vowel say its long vowel sound. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do this one. I'll do this one for you. In class, we will do slide four. And then on your own, you're going to do five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's do number three, or slide three, technically. Okay, the, the picture, I'm going to read the picture. I'm going to say the word that I think it is. And then I'm going to drag or type the word that matches the picture. These kids are trading cards. So I'm going to look for the word trading. I'm gonna just going to read. I'm going to think about a strategy that's going to work. So I'm going to use stretchy the snake strategy. I'm going to just stretch out all the sounds I know. Tr a ding trading. Oh, I think it's that one. Let's I'm going to read the other ones just to be sure. But that does seem to match the picture. I think for this word, I'm going to use chunky monkey. I'm going to chunk this part of the word first because I know this word is run. And then I'm going to stretch this part. I'm going to chunk it in two parts. So run, ning, running. Okay, running. That does not match. Neither of those two kids are running anywhere. Try this last one just to be sure. Um, I'm going to chunk this one as well. I'm going to use chunky monkey here because I know this word is camp. Camp. And then ing. This chunk is ing. So I'm going to put those together. Camp ing. Camping. No, that doesn't match. They're not. Doesn't look like they're camping. I'm pretty positive they are trading. This word is trading. So I have two choices now. I could grab it. I'm going to click and drag it, which seems tricky. So actually, I'm just going to type it. And I'm just going to click this text box and start typing in. T-R-A-D-I-N-G. Trading. Cool. Like I said, we're going to do this one in class together. And these... Um, these people are running, these, uh, these women are running track. This picture is of waves, the ocean waves. This lovely human is hiking. He's taking a hike. This picture is of snoring. This one's really funny to me. Look at even the moon is like, girl, if you don't stop with the snoring. This is snore or snored or snoring or snores, I don't know, but she's snoring, okay? These little babies are skating, they are ice skating, and this person is raking, or he, oops, he rakes, well, it looks like grass, he's rakes, he raking, he's raking. And then this last picture is of, of people voting. They're in line to vote, and then they're casting their ballots. They're putting their ballots in the little box. They are voting. Okay. Like I said before, use the uh, use the anchor charts if you need to. I'll show you this one again in class, and then we'll do this one in class all together. Okay. I can't wait to see how you are doing with reading silent e with suffixes.